I know where my altar is. And what I mean by that is, you know, my home church here in Orlando, Jump Ministries Global Church, I, I know where that is. I know where I can go pray. I know where I can go see God when I'm home. Um, and then just having the right people around me when I'm on the road, I'm, I'm checking in with my wife, obviously. I'm checking in with my pastor um, and having that church family there waiting mm. for me and, and just always encouragement helps me to stay grounded. And, you know, they, they keep me keep keep me grounded. Hey, I'm Kirk Cameron. Thanks for joining us for a special YouTube exclusive with Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan is a forward for the Orlando Magic. He's known as one of the best defensive players in the league and recently released his best-selling book, Why I Stand. Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Kirk. Hey, man, a big question that I have. How's your ACL doing? Everybody wants to know. We miss, we miss seeing you. Yeah. Absolutely, man. It's it's doing really, really well. I feel really strong. I'm good. I'm, I'm on the court every day preparing and uh, looking forward to coming back this season. So, Jonathan, you're an amazing NBA player. You're also the author of a, of a best-selling book. What other career goals do you have? Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily count this as a career goal, um, but we are talking about turning Why I Stand into a movie. So we may be adding actor to the resume, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, man, that would be so great. That would be so cool. you got to contact the Irwin brothers. Or, or the Kendrick Brothers. We got to turn this into a big blockbuster movie in the theaters. Well, I'm, I'm on with you right now. You might be the right guy for the job. <laughs> Maybe I could be the announcer. That's what I could be. I could be the announcer in the movie. Yeah, that would be great. We'll, we'll figure out your place. Hey, what, what's, your, what's your favorite part about playing in the NBA? My favorite part about playing in the NBA, I would say, is the, the travel aspect. Being able to go all around the United States and, and obviously meet people and see people from all the different states when we play. So definitely being able to go all over the place is my favorite part. How about some of the unique opportunities that you have to minister to other people as a Christian in the NBA? Yeah, it, it really is just that. It's, it's unique. You know, NBA players that we get to you know touch shoulders with every day and see from different teams and even my own teammates. But, you know, people do see you as this larger than life figure. So they you have their ear. And honestly, you, you, you know, you have their spirit because they, they really do want to hear from you and any words that you say, they'll, they'll really latch on to. So I try my best to, to take that seriously and, and offer words of encouragement and, and faith to everyone. I know from experience that not everybody that I work with in my, in my profession is going to agree with my faith. I was speaking with Kevin Sorbo, who's a Christian actor, and he was speaking with me about the difficulties of being a Christian actor in Hollywood. Um, is it difficult to be a Christian in the NBA? Yeah, I mean, I would say it's difficult just literally from a practical sense. Um, you know, NBA players and, you know, players that are around, you know, great wealth at the end of the day, you, you have access to excess. I, I wouldn't say it's particularly difficult because of the people um, that are in the NBA, but it really just is a, a hard lifestyle to master when it comes to, you know, trying your best to live for Christ. So, so what's, your, what's, your, what, what's your secret to that? What's your process for standing strong? and staying true to your convictions in a culture that is much more about the party scene uh, or, or whatever. Right, right. I, I'd say the big one for me is that I, I know where my altar is. And what I mean by that is, you know, my home church here in Orlando, Jump Ministries Global Church, I, I know where that is. I know where I can go pray. I know where I can go seek God when I'm home. Um, and then just having the right people around me when I'm on the road, I'm, I'm checking in with my wife, obviously. I'm checking in with my pastor. Um, and having that church family there waiting mm. for me and, and just always an encouragement helps me to stay grounded. And, you know, they, they keep me keep keep me grounded. That's right. And, 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 I, and I love that you stay connected with your wife. You stay connected with your pastor and your community of faith. It's so it, we're always easier to pick off when we're isolated and we're alone Absolutely. and we're distracted uh, and we're enticed by our own desires. And so we got to keep those that, you know, old Adam dies slowly. And so we, we've we've. We've got to continue to, to put off the old man, put on the new man, and uh, stay consistent with our, our reading the word and staying in prayer and staying connected with the family of faith. Yeah, absolutely. He, di he dies slowly and he dies kicking and screaming and fighting. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. It's, he, he, he does not want to go down. But the last Adam has crushed the head of the serpent and he came to destroy oh. the works of the devil. And that old Adam is no longer uh, one that we are enslaved to because we've got a, we've got a new king. And uh, with him, Preach. there's liberty. Preach. Yes, sir, Kurt.
Yeah. Well, man, it's been so great to talk with you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, thanks to all of you who are watching. Please share this video with a friend and be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video.